Hi dear friends, how are you all? Welcome to our YouTube channel HR Tutorials India. In this video, we will be discussing about evaluate and control applicant. How to evaluate and control applicant? Evaluation and control. Evaluation and control is the last stage in the process of recruitment. In this process, the effectiveness and validity of the process and methods are assessed. Recruitment is a costly process, hence it is important that the performance of recruitment process is thoroughly evaluated. We have already discussed the four stages of recruitment process. In this video, we will be discussing about evaluation and control which is the last stage of recruitment process. In this process, the validity and the effectiveness of the recruitment process and also the methods are assessed because recruitment is a very costly process which is very important to be evaluated. Hence, it is very important that the recruitment process is evaluated so that the performance of the recruitment process is good and high. The costs incurred in recruitment process are to be evaluated and controlled effectively. These include the following. Salaries of recruiters, advertisement cost and other costs incurred in recruitment methods that is agency fee, administrative expenses and recruitment overheads, Overtime and outstanding cost while vacancies remain unfilled. As we know that recruitment is a costly process, hence it has to be evaluated and controlled in an effective way so that the expenditure or budget is planned accordingly. So for evaluating and controlling the recruitment process, salaries of the recruiters are to be planned and controlled properly so that the recruitment process cost will be reduced. So for planning the recruiters, depending upon the requirements, the number of recruiters are to be hired and trained and worked on the specific requirement, which helps in controlling the salaries of recruiters for a specific requirement. Then comes the advertisement cost and other costs involved in recruitment methods, which could be recruitment agencies. While advertising the requirements and giving the requirements to the recruitment agencies, a proper plan has to be designed and implemented, which will help controlling the cost of recruitment. Like if number of resources are very difficult to be hired through internal sources, then the advertisement of job has to be done at the same time in the same way the requirement has to be given to the recruitment agencies because it is very cost effective. In the same way, administrative expenses and recruitment overhead are to be planned properly for maintaining the budget. Then finally comes the overtime and outstanding cost while the vacancies remain unfilled. Which means even after doing all the plans and executions, if the vacant positions are unfilled, it's a overburden on the recruitment process. Cost incurred in recruitment process is high, but then the vacant positions are unfilled. So to evaluate and control the recruitment cost, recruitment strategy plays an important role. Because by having a recruitment process and recruitment strategy in place, the vacant position will be filled in an effective and efficient way with low cost and it will be easy for the HR to hire the right candidate for the vacant position in the organization. Cost incurred in recruiting suitable candidates for the final selection process. Time spent by the management and the professionals in preparing job description, job specifications and conducting interviews. There is also a cost which is incurred in recruiting the suitable candidates for the final selection of process. Time spent by the management and the professionals in preparing job description, job specification and conducting interviews. So there is a time spent by the management also the taken to professions of different departments wherein they have spent time in description of the job and job specifications and also conducting the interviews for the vacant positions. Finally, the question that is to be asked is whether the recruitment methods used are valid or not and whether the recruitment process itself is an effective or not. Statical information on the cost incurred for the process of recruitment should be effective. So finally what we can say is by following a proper recruitment process and by having a recruitment strategy in place, the cost incurred for recruitment will be controlled. Any company should have a proper recruitment plan, process and a right strategy for recruiting the right resource for the vacant positions in an organization. So dear friends, in this video we have discussed about evaluation control which helps in controlling the cost of recruitment process by following a proper recruitment strategy for hiring the right resource for the vacant position in an organization. So dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe and share among your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.